So the other day I was browsing mcadforums.com and I came across a topic about IDW templates where Todd asked if it was possible for one to define an IDW template that prompts the user for a sheet size. And while that is definitely possible with Inventor, it just requires the use of iLogic, which is basically what Mark said, and he provided a link over to Jonathan Landeros's blog where Jonathan had a blog post detailing just such a workflow that you use iLogic to create a list uh, selection box of uh, different sheet formats. Jonathan also included a video of that uh, workflow that shows, him, shows you how he actually did all of that, which is a great video, very informative, so I'd highly recommend checking that out. I'm going to provide a link to MCAD forums in the description part of this video so you can have access to that content. Now when I was looking at that question, I actually thought of something a little bit different. I was thinking more in, lo more in terms of uh, multiple functionality inside one dialog box. The problem is iLogic has, it comes with dialog boxes that are meant for general purpose uh, use for more, more of a kind of a single purpose functionality. Um, so that wouldn't be possible, my idea wouldn't be possible with out of the box iLogic functionality dialog boxes. But I could create my own dialog box in Visual Studio and then create a rule that links to that dialog box which is exactly what I did. So if we edit this rule here you're going to notice that I have uh, not very much content in this rule, especially if you look at Jonathan's video. His rule has a heck of a lot more uh, content than this rule does because all of his functionality is in that rule. Now what I did is I just added enough functionality to create a reference uh, to this external code file, this DLL file, that I, uh, where I created all of my functionality and I leveraged the Inventor API uh, to manipulate everything. So if we run this rule, you're going to see it brings up this uh, Sheet Manager configuration uh, dialog box. And you're going to notice first uh, it's got the sheet name, sheet formats, and uh, all this content is being pulled from your drawing resources. And uh, you can configure a sheet any which way you want using your sheet size, orientation, borders, title blocks, the title block placement, your options, and then you can either modify the current sheet or create a new sheet based on those settings. Let's just say that you have uh, created some new settings that are outside the boundaries of your existing sheet formats and you realize you're going to use these settings uh, a lot more often then uh, you can create a new sheet format based on those settings and we'll call a new sheet format and then when you either modify or create a new sheet in this case we'll just modify this one not only does it modify the actual sheet but it also creates that sheet format for you so again if we go in here uh, and that's actually let's rename this sheet and uh, let's modify the current sheet so we renamed it and again if we go in there well before we do that let me show you real quick edit sheet neither one of these are checked and if we go back in there exclude from count we'll check both of them off modify that sheet now when we go in there edit the sheet both of these are checked off so pretty handy basically it, it, it nullifies the need for this dialog or this tool here with the exception of the revision which is something I wasn't sure I wanted to add or not we, but we can add later if we feel that we really need it uh, in any case this is uh, something I'm going to be posting for free over on MCADforms.com and I want to go ahead and go through how you actually get this set up. So once you go to MCADforms.com and you download the zip file and you unzip the file, that file will contain um, some text, a text file, an XML file, and the actual code file. And what you're going to do is you're going to right click and copy this code file and you're going to head on over to your local uh, drive open a new window there and let's check out go into program files Autodesk the Inventor 2010 or 2011 
whichever version you're running. Uh, go into the bin file and then scroll down to you hit iLogic add. Now this folder is not in there just go ahead and create the folder just as you see here iLogic add and then paste in the actual new sheet creation dialog dll. So once you've done that you're gonna go ahead and let's just start a new file here new drawing and you're going to go to manage and your parameters let's just say import from XML and in this case since I've already navigated to it inside that dialog or the folder that you downloaded there should be a new sheet rule uh, parameters.xml file that you're going to open up and what that's going to do is it's going to bring in these two um, parameters and uh, what these two parameters are doing is uh, the iTrigger zero is what's going to allow you to launch the dialog box with a quick iTrigger button click and then this show my dialog is just the way that I have the rule linking to the code. So we click done. And once we've done that, let's go ahead and create the rule. Let's say sheet config. And we'll go back out to the folder there. Open up that text file. Copy it. paste it and now we've got it it's all in there click OK and there's your dialog so that about covers it hopefully you guys get a lot of mileage out of this and uh, give me some feedback let me know how things go for you and uh, we'll take it from there